What's going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Obviously, the Paris sticker capsule sale is still going on right now. I believe we're now about six weeks into the sale, uh, and I truly believe we have about two to three weeks left. So there are a ton of people who are excited about it. There's a ton of people who are trying to take advantage of it while it's here. There's a ton of people who have been loading a ton of money into it for the past six weeks and are going to continue to load all kinds of money into it for the next two or three weeks. But the question I want to answer today, or attempt to answer, or at least dive into, because at the end of the day, there isn't going to really be one hard, true, concrete answer, but uh, today is going to be another deep dive type of video, uh, another spreadsheet type video. I've been doing all types of research for you guys recently, and today, what we are trying to find is, is Paris, the best investment right now. Obviously, with CSGO, there's always a ton of different items and places you can be putting your money. That's the good and bad thing about CSGO investing is that there's so many different options. There is truly so much opportunity cost at hand all the time. There's uh, almost kind of like choice overload um, many times, which makes this, uh, again, really fun, interesting, and exciting, but also very frustrating. And it can like drive you crazy thinking about all the different possibilities. But we're going to answer, uh, like I said, or try to answer or attempt to dive into what is the best place to be putting money into right now, Paris, Antwerp, or Stockholm between the three modern borderless sticker sets. Obviously, a lot of people love Paris. Paris has the sticker sale. There's a lot of reasons why Paris makes sense to invest in, um, but Antwerp and Stockholm are also there, and I want to look back and actually take a look at during the Antwerp sale. The last sale that we had, obviously, from a borderless sticker set during the Antwerp sale, from the end of the Antwerp sale on, what performed better, Antwerp or Stockholm? And try to, you know, then bring that forward to Paris and see from the end of the Paris sale forward what's going to be the best performing asset. Um, but first, I want to say thank you guys so much for hitting 3,000 subscribers on this channel. Obviously, uh, most of those subscribers didn't come from my, you know, kind of Counter Strike era. Uh, I've had a couple different iterations of this channel, but still, it's a bunch of subscribers that I've worked hard um, to build up over the past couple of years. And a ton of those subscribers are from Counter Strike over the last three months. I think we've seen like 800 or 750 or 700 subscribers in the last three months. In the last month specifically, we've been exploding. So just thank you guys so much. There's been so much love and support. And obviously, for the foreseeable future, I expect to be doing Counter-Strike stuff. And I really think this is the new direction of this channel. It's been fun. It's been awesome. So thank you guys. Buff Market affiliate link. First link in the description below. Get signed up with that. Help support me uh, and hit me up on Twitter uh, if you're interested in selling uh, You know some of your CSGO items or skins for some money. I'm dipping into cash trading. With that being said, let's get right into this. So we have... A spreadsheet once again and here we go looking at <clears throat> Stockholm today these are the prices of Stockholm stickers at the end of the Antwerp sale which I believe was August 9th of 2022 uh, and at the end of the Stockholm sale obviously things were very very crazy um, for Stockholm hollows these are team hollows that we're looking at obviously things were pretty crazy for Stockholm hollows because um, you know, Antwerp had come out. Antwerp was the new borderless sticker set. This was a new borderless sticker set to compete with Stockholm. Stockholm prices had crashed a little bit um, once, uh, you know, there was a new kid on the block and it had really sent a shock and a craze um, through the investing community. But these were the prices we were looking at. Miles was obviously the big dog at $8.80. Um, but other than that, a lot of the Stockholm stickers were pretty cheap, especially uh, if you think about relative to Paris prices today. I mean, look at this. Miles is $8.80, and then we have $3.43 with Copenhagen Flames as second, and then Payne at $2.84. The next five or $2. Look at Paris prices today, real quick. Uh, this was a couple weeks ago, you know, or a couple, yeah, this was about a week ago on July 23rd. These were the last prices where I was really tracking closely. Um, we have Miles at $18. And we have Apex at 13, Inferior at 12. Like, we don't get into the $2 range until all the way down here in fours and nips. So, um, obviously, we are comparing a totally different era in CS investing, a totally different time. Um, there wasn't as many players, there wasn't as many investors, there wasn't as much excitement, there wasn't as much money in the markets. But these were the prices for Stockholm at the end of the Antwerp sale. Um, this is how things went. Obviously, since then, we saw an explosion, and here's the peak prices. Um, you know, So from the end of the sale, we have Maus, Copenhagen Pain, Mavistar, and Virtus Pro as the top five. Then we have everything running up to their peaks. Prices went absolutely crazy. All of a sudden, we see Tai Lu, um, you know, the Tai Lu Hollow, which was just crazy. went from $1.69 to $54.17 um, during the peak. Obviously, this peaks uh, were during the CS2 hype uh, and all that crazy. Craziness. This was, I believe, before the Paris uh, borderless set was announced, um, but we really saw some crazy, crazy, crazy run up. 
Uh, so our, you know, our new top five became Miles, Ty Lue, VP, Bobby Star, and Payne. And then finally, we get to today where we still see some very, very crazy prices for Stockholm, where things have run up insane since then. Miles, Ty Lue, Mavi Star, uh, VP, and Copenhagen Flames now rounding out the top five. Um, some interesting stuff there. You know, we saw G2 go from 14 to 8, back down to 14. Um, we've seen Nip be kind of the cheapest one the whole time. Um, we saw FaZe go from 10 to 9 to 11. We saw Payne go from 3 to 5 down to 8, um, which is pretty crazy. Obviously, Ty Lue going from 9 to 2 to 2. But what kinds of returns did Stockholm see from the end of the Antwerp sale on? Uh, and here we have it. The top dog, which is actually crazy because, again, Miles was always the most expensive sticker from the end of the Antwerp sale on. Miles was most expensive. But you can see here, Miles, in terms of returns, was the 10th best sticker in this set. So even though Miles gets so much publicity and you hear about how Miles is such a great investment, you hear about how Miles has such great investors and yada, yada, yada. The top dog here was not Mouse. It was actually 10th best. You had a lot of different better options from the end of the sale to the peak rank, uh, the end of the Antwerp sale to the peak rank um, for Stockholm stickers. The number one was Ty Lu, but the top five were Ty Lu, Heroic, Sharks, Godsa, and EG. Now, I'm not sure why EG is in that list. They kind of seem like the odd one out, um, but I know at the top you have Ty Lu, Heroic, Sharks, Godsa. A lot of teams um, with unique looking stickers. I know Heroic does have an Antwerp sticker as well, but it's a little bit different logo. But Ty Lu, Heroic, Sharks, and Godsent all are unique borderless stickers to uh, to Stockholm. Uh, so yeah, you know you, we saw that the unique stickers did very very well, um, which is actually pretty interesting. And then finally, the end of uh, the Antwerp sale to today, the rank here um, we can see if we rank these that uh, still a top dog. Uh, a lot of the same names here, but we have Ty Lu still being number one, Heroic, Sharks, Godsent. And now Mavi Star and then Virtus Pro, EG obviously dropping out like they probably rightfully should have. Renegades and Tropic, still a ton of the unique stickers of Stockholm. So definitely some info to take away from this is from the Antwerp tale on. The unique stickers perform very well. And some of the non-unique stickers, like FaZe, Ents, Pain, Navi, we see them towards the bottom. Again, we still have Mouse here at 10th. Um, we have, you know, some middling teams like G2, Astralis, Furia. Um, and again, it's not necessarily the top dogs or the most expensive stickers doing the best. We can see here Heroic, pretty cheap the whole time. Heroic was the 21st, 17th, and 13th cheapest sticker, and it had the second best returns. Sharks, 22nd, 19, 19, it had the third best returns. Um, Gods in 18, 14, 15, it had the fourth best returns. Now, some expensive stickers did do well. You know, Tyloo was pretty expensive the whole time. Um, Star and VP were pretty expensive the whole time. Um, so it's not necessarily saying that cheap stickers are good or bad or expensive stickers are good or bad, but good stickers perform good, not expensive or uh, inexpensive stickers. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the question we're looking to answer is, what performed better from the end of the Antwerp sale? Was it Stockholm or was it Antwerp? And at the end of the day, Stockholm actually outperformed Antwerp from the end of the Antwerp sale on. This is despite the fact that Antwerp castles were on sale, um, meaning that really uh, Antwerp, you know, stick. I have to sneeze real quick. <coughs> oh, I had to sneeze really bad. Um, even though Antwerp capsules were out and Antwerp capsule stickers, you know, the prices should have been deflated or should have artificially been pushed down, which then should have helped the gains going forward. Stockholm actually outperformed it. We can take a look at the end of the Antwerp sale to the peak um, prices. We had 352 here um, for a Stockholm, which is going to be 352 divided by 24 is going to be 14.7 X returns. And if we look at Antwerp, um, I have Antwerp here from the end of the sale to the peak. Um, we have 335 uh, divided by 24, which is going to be a 13, a pretty much a 14 X return. Um, so again, for Stockholm, we had a 14.7 X return. And for Antwerp, we had a 13.95. So Stockholm from the end of the Antwerp sale to the peak, Stockholm did outperform it, but just barely. But now if we look at the, uh, end of the Antwerp sale to today, um, for Antwerp, uh, again, these prices are a little bit outdated. These prices from about a week ago and the Stockholm prices are a little bit more updated. So maybe this isn't exactly entirely accurate, but it's going to be pretty close. Um, cause the market's actually gone down a little bit. So this would be bad for Stockholm, but um, we have 101 um, divided by 24. Um, we see about a 4.2 X return from the end of the Antwerp sale to today for Antwerp and for Stockholm from the end of that sale to today. Again, with prices even a little bit lower. So this is this, this is even less really than you would see for Stockholm. We have a 5.6 X return. So from the end of the Antwerp sale to the peak prices 
and the end of the intro tale to today, Stockholm was actually the better investment. And if we take a look at capsules, we'll actually see a little bit of the same stuff. We have here um, Stockholm contenders, uh, challengers, and legends, and Antwerp legends, challengers, and contenders from the end of the Antwerp sale to today. Uh, at the end of the Antwerp sale, uh, let me lock this in place real quick. Um, I don't, yeah, there we go. Freeze that row. Uh, at the end of the Antwerp sale, this were the prices. Obviously, uh, all the Antwerp capsules were going to be 25 cents, and we had challengers at $1.73 for uh, Stockholm. We had 0.67 for contenders and 0.43 for legends. Uh, here were the peak prices for all of them. Um, we get still, you know, the Stockholm ones being the most expensive, but we have legends for Antwerp uh, as the most going up there. And then today's prices for these capsules, um, we still have the three um, from Stockholm being the most expensive. Um, but here are the actual returns that we saw from the end of the Antwerp sale to today. Contenders had the best returns from Stockholm. Legends had the second best returns from Stockholm. Uh, the Antwerp Legends was actually third. Stockholm Challengers was fourth. And then the two Antwerp ones were down at the bottom. So it was possible to get an Antwerp one that outperformed one Stockholm one, but if you just picked a random Stockholm or a random Antwerp, the, the Stockholm was probably going to do better. And then again, from the end of the peak to today, I do believe it is the same type of thing. Now, yes, Legends has passed up Challengers and Legends, but still, if you picked a random Stockholm uh, capsule and a random Antwerp capsule, the Stockholm one was probably going to do better. Now, what is interesting is, does this mean that Paris is maybe not the best investment? Because again, during the Antwerp sale, you're actually better off buying Stockholm stuff than Antwerp stuff. Now, during the Paris sale, are you better off buying Antwerp? Are you better off buying Stockholm? I don't know. Obviously, this isn't a lot of data to go off of. This is just one certain point that we are comparing. And a huge, huge, huge asterisk to compare during this is what's actually crazy is during the Antwerp sale, uh, Stockholm stickers, again, the total Stockholm market of hollows at the end of the Antwerp sale was $40.40. But if we look at the end of the Antwerp sale, the total market of the Antwerp hollows was $48. So which is crazy is that at the end of the Antwerp sale, the whole Stockholm set was actually cheaper than Antwerp, and then it outperformed it going forward. So Stockholm was weirdly underrated and undervalued and, and compressed. But if we look at today, right now, Paris is actually the cheapest of the three sets. So do the cheapest, most undervalued sets perform well? Do the old sets just perform better than the new ones? Is Stockholm just an amazing set that's going to outperform? Is Stockholm just a better set than Antwerp? Is that why it outperformed? I don't know. There is, you know, from diving into this and finding out the data and looking at all these things, there then becomes a lot more questions. Like I said, at the end of this video, there's not going to be a concrete answer, but I just wanted to provide to you guys all the information. During the Antwerp sale, Stockholm was cheap, cheaper than Antwerp. Stockholm hollows and capsules outperformed Antwerp for whatever reason you want to say. And how is that going to compare to Paris today? Now, I don't know. I'm, I've already put a lot of my money into Paris. Maybe it's going to be a mistake. Maybe I would have been better off having more in Antwerp uh, or Stockholm. I do have a little bit of Antwerp and Stockholm investments, but I will also say that from this time period to now, the market has changed greatly. So maybe none of this information is even valid or val valid or valuable. I'm not sure. I'm just pre presenting you guys the info, letting you draw your own conclusions, letting you make of it what you will. But I did think it was a little bit surprising that Stockholm actually did outperform Antwerp from the Antwerp sale on, uh, even though the sales are supposed to be this big event that uh, lead to some impressive gains. I don't know, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you the next one. Until then, peace.